So in the last video, we saw how to create a full adder using structural style of modeling. So now let's use this full adder and see how can we create a ripple carry adder. So in a ripple carry adder, what happens is a we can take multiple bits of input. So a single full adder is just a single bit input, right? So A is single bit, B is single bit. But in a ripple carry adder, we can take four bit input and a four bit output. So we can create that using four full adders. So as we can see over here, the individual bits can go to individual full adders and the carry is chain, chained through the full adder chain and the output of each full adder is going to the out, output bits. So let's create this. So first we'll uh, create a design source. Next, create file. Make sure to choose this as VHDL. Let's call it RCA for ripple carry adder. Finish. Okay, so in a ripple carry adder, we have input A, input B, output S, which is the sub, and also a C out, carry output, and a carry input. And from this, the sum is output, carry output is also output, and all of these are multiple bits as we can see. So let's create a 4 bit one. So for the 4 bit, we'll have to create 3 down to 0. So 3 down to 0 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 bit. So the input and the sum are 4 bits and the carry input and the carry output is just a single bit. So we can create, okay, we'll use this STR in 3D structural. So RCA is created. So in the RCA, let's take the full adder as an entity. So this is the full adder. So let's take this. Okay, so now we have a full adder. Now in this, as we can see, the carry is passed from one full adder to another full adder, full adder in RCA. So to do that, we will need intermediary signals. So how many intermediary signals are there? There's C1, C2 and C3. So we'll have to create those signals in here. So what we'll do is signal C1, C2 and C3 standard logic. So we have created the signals as well. So now we can just begin mapping <laughs> mapping the output according to this diagram over here. So first, let's do it for the first full adder. So FA port map. So the first full adder, the input for that is the A would be the first bit of input, the B would be the first bit of V, then S, S is the output, so that would go in the S of 0 over here, the first bit of output, and then there is carry. Okay, so first is carry in as well. So the first carry in is just the carry in of our RCA. And this, the carry output of the first one will go into C1, the first intermediary signal. Then we can just copy this and paste it three more times. As there are four full adders. So now in the second one, the carry input will be the intermediary signal C1 and the carry output will go to C2. Then all of this would be one. Over here, same. C2 would go as input and C3 would be the output and we call this 
and the second bit of the inputs and outputs it will read and write and for the last full header c2 would be the input c3 would be the input and the final c the output of the c out is c out the output of the ripple carry header it would write to that and over here we can write 3 okay so now when we save this there's actually going to be a error because in vivardo you have to use circular brackets and not square brackets so let's quickly change this So now, as we can see, the RCA code is ready. So now, how would we check that if this is working? So let's create a test bench for this. So add source, create simulation source. Next, create file. Let's call this RCA DB. Add VHDL. Okay. Finish. And for the test bench, we don't give any this. for so rca tv let's set this as okay so in rca tv what let's take this and declare it as a component and we'll also have to declare all the signals so we have declared all the signals as well so now first let's map this to the ports so you want to see port map so there's a b s c l s v now we'll have to generate the input for this So first, let's uh, just give the one to C in. So C in. Let's give one to that. And for A and B, let's give some sequence. Say zero one zero one. And B let's give and just the one for now. Then wait for a brief nanoseconds. Let's generate some more test cases. For this one, we'll not get the carry. For this one, let's just make this one over here. Let's save this, and we'll actually have to do this in a process. So P R O C D S S process. We begin and end the process afterwards. Because if we don't do it in a process, the code will not be repeated multiple times. Let's just see. As we can see, it is already set as stops. Let's just try this.
so we also have to change this as well let's just save this now we will done this mediation So now here we can see that let's actually make this binary, make it easier. Okay, so as we can see when the end the super fit pin was so yeah. So we haven't changed B at all, B is just 1. So as you can see when A is 0, 1, 0, 1 and adding 1 to that, we will get 0, 1, 1, 1. Because carry input is also 1 over here. And when the carry input is 0, we get 0, 1, 1, 0. So by looking at this graph, you can see that our ripple carry adder is working properly.